Oh, right, all right, all right. Welcome back to another StarCraft 2 match. This one is, of course, another episode of the Florencio Files, and he may have found his match, guys, because he's playing here on his try hard barcode account. That's right. Hiding his identity here, being sneaky, but he's running into the. That's right, the leader of the Booty D clan. The Big Booty Daddy. That's right, Booty Daddy. Probably my favorite name I've seen in a while. I always say tag your pregnant is uh, probably the favorite name I've ever seen in a game. I don't know why it just... The idea of that going tag and actually having the, the superpower to make someone instantly pregnant kind of sounds fantastic to me. Booty Daddy, not too, not too bad though. I kind of enjoy it. I guess uh, the other one up there is... Car Birthing Enthusiast is a fantastic Twitch chat name that I've seen in recent uh, months and every time I get some kind of messed up and kind of vivid mental images. It's comical enough, not dark enough that it's funny, but it's just, it's it's kind of weird. You know, it's kind of like, um, if you think about it, it, it it's like uh, if you guys imagine going to get the, um, what do you call, what's a, a midwife, right? You go to like a midwife, you know, you can't afford to go to the hospital or whatever it is. So you go there, except it's it's in like a junkyard and it's in the back of like a car with like the <laughs> the boot, you know, the, the back hatch picked up or whatever. And that's like the, the hospital bed where the car birthing happens. And the it's not technically a midwife. It's a kind of muscular, greasy man who, um, yeah, he's a car birthing enthusiast. And he thinks it's the, the natural way to bring a baby into the world so they can become a true mixture of man and uh, and creations. So for those of you just tuning in, what are you talking about, pig? Uh, what can I say, guys? It's it's early days in a Florencio game, and you know what? I just wanted to start off with some weird stories because I think this game is going to get weird. Uh, Florencio told me himself that this game was a rather fun one, and that his opponent really put him through the ringer. And I was like, oh, okay. He said, yeah, man, this guy, this guy eBay blocked me. This guy got in my face and messed up my build order, and I had to adapt. And I was like, tell me no more. You think it's good? You think it was a fun game? I will absolutely take that. So, uh, Engineering Bay blocks delaying his hatchery a long time. He's being forced to go for an early Roach Horn here. And because the Terran's on one base, and he's even building a bunker on the high ground, which is insanely, insanely safe. I mean, this Terran seems like they're kind of setting up Florencio to go for some aggression, trying to bait him into it. And he's just going to run into a bunker on a high ground filled with Marines. So great play for Booty Daddy. Now, if Booty Daddy builds a command center on the low ground, that's kind of bad. But what is this SCV doing, guys? Do, 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 do. The SCV is going to scout the entire map, apparently. Okay. Ooh, doesn't cancel the engineering bay. Guys, he nubbed it. The whole point of the engineering bay block is you get it to about 90% complete. 95, 99 if you want to, if you want to take, it, take it close. And when it's about to die, you cancel it. Doesn't matter how many hit points it has left. You get back 75% of the original cost. No matter what. That's just how it always works in StarCraft. So it's one of these things where... Oh, this is awkward. I'll talk about that more in a moment. Oh, I won't tell anyone if you don't tell anyone, all right? Yeah, yeah, all right, bro. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Both of them just gonna hide. Scans and sees the roaches as well. Well, this Terran's actually beyond paranoid. Is making tank on the high ground as well. Still on one base. And this exceptionally late hatchery going down. So anyway, like I said, uh, the Terran forgot to cancel the engineering bay. This is why sometimes you see Terrans cancel the engineering bay a bit early because they know they have to look away to do something else. So they're like, oh, I'll just do it now to make sure I don't miss it. Uh, whereas this Terran missed out on that and therefore loses uh, 100 minerals just unnecessarily tank there bunker and we're gonna see a command center finally go down on the high ground so this is two players who are doing very inefficient openings i mean this is a roach pressure that's pretty decent eight roaches it's just not going to do anything like he has to the moment he takes a tank shot florencio needs to leave there's nothing he can do with this attack he's actually going for ravages which i would argue is terrible because it means he i mean he's investing even more into a push that's already failed uh, but he can at least kill the reactor, right? You can see the tank only reaches to there. So look at this. The Overlord is going to spot the high ground, provide vision. And if he does micro it just right, he could pick off the reactor and these depots. The real trick is you want to put the biles on the middle so you hit both targets. Florencio, you can see he does that now. And he was actually trying to get the repairing SCVs. And he does get one SCV and a depot. Not bad. Behind this, though, he's not droning. Oh, my Lord. He's doing nothing behind it. He's Florencioing. This attack is not going to do killing damage. It is going to do a, a little disruption, and that's about it. it. Does get that other depot as well, but he loses a roach. And with the Viking now removing the uh, the Overlord, there's no more vision left. These depots will seal uh, that wall off. And with the command center finishing, he'll be out of the supply block as well. So this is actually fantastic defense for Booty Daddy, who's got a fusion core up. 
And we're gonna see a battle cruiser. Yes, we are. Battle cruiser starting at the five minute mark here. Lair on the way for Florencio. Now Florencio's gone back to droning. He's still only got one queen though. And he's he's got so much money banking up. He's trying to build spore crawlers already. Did he see that starport? He did not, but he knows that a one base player could be going for some air harassment. He's trying to corrosive bile this Viking right now. And I think he is he gonna do it again. Oh my god, if he gets this, he's been trying so hard. Okay, okay, throwing a corrosive bile there when the Vikings are, that's like trying to hit someone with a baseball and they're over there and you throw it in the opposite direction. Like there is no way in the physics of the universe that Viking could not have got from there to there in time. Like, <laughs> Florencio using some science. He's like, well, if I throw the shots so badly, my opponent is going to be so confused. They're going to be like, what's he trying to do with that? They're going to start wasting brain power trying to figure it out because no one would just do things for no reason, right? Right? Yeah. So the Florencio files, guys, we've got three Spore Crawlers and a Spire on the way. Flow here. I think it's just knowing his opponent had such a late command center. He was expecting this and he's building three Spores, but only one's ready. And if Booty Daddy focuses down the drones, Booty Daddy could do some great damage here. Already killing the queen, but you've got to click on the drones if you want to get the real damage. And you can see, oh, he's going to go for the Spire. Oh, that's going to get canceled. Okay, Florencio with a nice cancel there, but he's gonna have to rebuild that Spire. He's trying to rebuild it, and with more spores around it over there on the left side. Roaches and Ravages do deny that natural. It tries to land, but there's nothing building behind this, guys. This is a perfect match. We have two very cheesy, cheeky players who are doing super gimmicky, strange strategies, and neither one of them has shown any ability to multitask. This is awesome, because we've got the Terran player not building any macro. He now starts a battle cruiser like a minute after the previous one finished. And it doesn't really have a ground transition, right? It's just building an engineering bay, isn't even mining gas properly. No SCVs producing nothing. The battle cruiser comes in and gets a few more drones though. And that's a big problem for Florencio. He's got like seven spores in his main, six spores in his main, only one in the natural. And he's really messed up in terms of covering up this mineral line. Florencio's not droning one SCV. A single SCV queues up for the Terran player behind this. This is peak StarCraft. The tank has not moved forward. So the, the Terran, this is like truly, these guys are only doing one thing at a time. I'll do my move and only once you've fully defended it will I ever spend my money or do anything else. And Florencio's gonna try and run his drones, but oh no. Ooh, he loses like three or four just getting them out of there. And he's back to one base mining. Even though he's got three hatcheries, if he loses his natural, he's in big trouble. Five corruptors are on the way. Make that six though. They are the counter to the battle cruiser. Problem is, it's got teleport. It can always run it away. Uh, no focus fire for Booty Daddy. There we go. Does click on the hatchery. The hatchery's got 400 hit points. 10 seconds, 15 seconds till the corruptors are here. Oh no. He's going to get the hatch. Booty Daddy. Zero macro behind it. But look at this. Gets the hatch and can just fly home, teleport out of there. He's gonna use both battle cruisers to defend the Ravages and the Roaches. Does take two corrosive piles on that one, 120 damage down. And the Roaches and the Ravages gonna try and get some Marines before they go out of this world. And they will get two Marines before falling. But you know what? The Corruptors are now out. It's gonna start to transfer workers here. There's still a bunch of idle drones, SCVs behind. Still only one worker on that gas geyser. Mass missile turret being taken along with the gases. Both players are still locked on identical workers, and now Magfield Cyclones are going to be built one at a time as the next step. Uh, this here is what I call peak craft, guys. It's where you take StarCraft peak gaming skill execution and the absolute cream of the crop that humanity has to offer. You put them into the, into the arena and you say, fight to the death for imaginary video game points, and that's what we get. Booty Daddy, you've got teleport on cooldown. Teleport was available. Could have teleported that battle cruiser back to the turrets but lost it and then tried to Yamato, but the missile turret killed the Corruptor that was being Yamatoed, so it actually died anyway before the Yamato, and the Yamato just went, uh, my target's gone, no point completing, but the Yamato still gets used up by that. That's a huge problem. The Corruptors, Florencio says, you just killed my base. I'm mad, dude. Unzips his flight, pisses on his opponent's doorstep and all over the tires of their car. He says, yep, that's gonna stink bad in the morning. That's gonna stink bad, get wrecked. And you know what? If you piss him off a lot, he might even notice that you've left your window wound down. And if he notices that you, you left your window wound down, Florencio is the kind of cat who will try to arc that stream inside. You know, I'm not saying it's an admirable thing to do. I'm not saying it's a good thing to do. I don't condone it. I'm saying that he will do it because 
He's, he's a bit of a savage, and especially when you mess with him like these battle cruisers have, he's not going to be happy with that. Florencio, right now, he's got no queens. He hasn't rebuilt them. His main's half mined out. It's drastically oversaturated. But remember, the Terran does not have a great follow up. Third command is halfway done. He's got a second and third factory slowly coming out. The corruptors, though, have missed this battle cruiser, and there's no anti air. This battle cruiser could ruin. Florencio's economy, his corruptors are on the wrong side of the map. Oh no, he was not expecting Booty Daddy to be so brave, but this is Big Booty Daddy. Big Booty Daddy doesn't afraid. Big Booty Daddy drives right in and starts punching those drones in the face. Big Booty Daddy's the kind of guy who has no qualms about beating up a six-year-old. That's right. Big Booty Daddy's that guy who's like, I'm a 300-pound, uh, three, uh, six-foot, six-foot-seven gigantic human who lifts weights. You're, 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 you're 67 pounds. You're, 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 you're 11 years old. Um, you know what? I'm going to punt you. And the kid's like, what? And he picks them up and punts them into a brick wall. Booty Daddy doesn't care, man. He might be even more of a savage than Florencio. He's got a random-ass bunker still up here from the early game. And he teleports home to safety, immediately comes across the map. Two aliens, two cyclones coming over. Uh-oh. Oh man, two two side two corruptors already going down. And he's gonna take out some of those queens as well. He's gonna start taking out these drones. Roach is being built here. Florencio is just getting hammered though, man. He's getting hammered. The drones being forced to fight these cyclones, which you never want. Drones do not do a lot of damage. Five damage a hit only. And finally gonna defend those cyclones, but that was nasty. That was nasty. That was 29 drones only across three bases. The battle cruiser comes back in and dies immediately since, of course, tactical jump was nowhere near there and it was not repaired. Bit of a mistake there from Big Booty Daddy, but Big Booty Daddy's got a fourth command center. Hellion's coming out. He's trying to take that third base. Five missile turrets at the third. Amazing. Amazing gaming. Uh, Corruptors, Roaches, Hydras moving on out. We've got more spine crawlers there. Base in the top left side at the same time. And we've got those missile turrets going down all over the shop. Seven corruptors, three roaches, three hydras, and only 35 drones. No roach speed. Hydra movement speed is coming in, so at least there's one upgrade. But these roaches are about the most useless mech unit you could have imagined. That being said, there's no defense on this third. Uh, these tanks can probably beat the roaches and hydras, though. Yeah, I don't think this army can do anything for Ferenci. He's looking for an angle, but three roaches and a hydra, an attack does not make. That's a posse. Uh, posses are not armies, man. Posses don't fight too good. Oh, two of those roaches go down and... Uh-oh. Blue Flame! Blue Flame is here now! Oh, no. Two spines and a hydra trying desperately to defend the drones. Run, drones, run! Oh, I do like those drones kind of blocking a little bit there, but man. So many workers have gone down this game and even more will be falling. Good block there. It's still 36 drones to just two SCVs. Florencio getting a taste of his own medicine in this game. Honestly, that's... That's what this game is, isn't it, guys? He got Engineering Bay blocked. His Roaches got blocked by a silly one base build. And now he's just been getting hammered by Battle Cruisers and Hellions for the rest of the game. They're not going to stop. Booty Daddy awkwardly macroing to the next step with Armory, Hellbats, Tanks, all these cool things coming in. Hellions going to come on in, start to click these drones down. And very nicely done. Okay, the Hydra's there as well. Ah, okay. So what do we got, guys? Scan's going to go down for Booty Daddy. Sees that this fourth base is being taken and maybe a little more afraid of that than they need to be. Because that base isn't saturated. That base is not saturated. That base is, is kind of almost mined out, to be honest. So this is really still a very small economy for the Zerg. But Booty Daddy not doing any focus on their own economy. Still missing workers on gas on the third in the main base as well. The natural not saturated on minerals. Neither of these players has any any economy management focus really going on right it's almost all about the tactics of the messing with the opponent and so far booty daddy's coming out on top Florencio is like he's just sitting there he's in this weird zone man like i feel like he's he's literally been hanging out in his sewer today and then out of the out of some bloody grate with steam coming out of it some primordial ooze is just kind of squeeze its way through and it's just it's outgrossing him right now right that's exactly what booty daddy's doing booty daddy's just kind of like Neh. You think you don't know how to macro? Welcome to 38. Well, in this case, I did build four more SCVs. Shh, never mind. 43 SCV, a mech attack with three Marines, four Hellions. Actually, what's that? Eight, nine siege tanks? That's not bad. Not a bad attack, actually. Ah, uh, even one Muta could kill this whole army. But Florencio, he's been on the back foot. He's not thinking about Mutas. He's trying to go swarm hosts right now, which is actually a very cool response. Swarm hosts are a sick unit versus this army. Booty Daddy gets Cyclones out though. Cyclone plus Blue Flame Hellion is very good versus Swarm Host because they're so mobile. They can avoid the Locusts whenever they launch and then come back in when the Swarm Hosts are on cooldown. 
And we see these, uh, these Hellbats are very good at clearing these. Ooh, okay, one tank goes down. And look at that, the friendly fire. Two tanks going down to that first Locust Wave. Still going to be struggling to clear these Hellbats, though. Look at how quickly the Blue Flame Hellbats evaporate these Locusts. The Locusts disappear. The Roach Hydra does come in from behind there, trying to help out, but that base is forfeit. And already 17 Swarm Hosts out. Six more on the way. He's going to at least 23 Swarm Hosts right now. That base is going down, though. Florencio's economy is scuffed. Now, Booty Daddy, if Booty Daddy keeps building air units, keeps harassing, um, keeps expanding... Swarm hosts aren't that good, but otherwise swarm hosts represent, because their units are free, it's like having an extra base or two mining. So if Florencio can keep these alive just for another minute or two, he could absolutely fight back in this game. That's a lot of locusts coming out, and the Corruptor's going to start cleaning out the barracks. It's a lot of locusts. The tanks with no Hellions or Hellbats guarding them. Booty Daddy is actually taking a horrendous engagement, and Florencio, with the power of the swarm host transition, is going to kill that entire army for maybe one Swarmos, one or two Hydralisks. That was almost nothing. That was almost nothing, dude. Oh my God. Thor's tanks, Hellbats moving out across this map. The fourth base over there on the right side as well. We've got a tank moving back, trying to get home. But this 22 Swarmos army, and he's building Thor's, which are probably the worst unit in the game against Swarmos. Their splash damage can kind of kill them before they land, but not that effectively. You need Hellbats and you need Cyclones. Like we said, the tanks are going to maybe be useful against the Hydras. But honestly, Cyclone Hellion is, is what would be able to get out there and, and intercept this before it gets to your base. But now, this base is looking very exposed. Florencio it says, Oh, what was that about killing my drones all game? You piece of crap. Arrgh! Throws his babies. He literally picks up a toddler by its leg spins it in the air and tosses it at his opponent. Thankfully, it is, of course, a, a toddler that has been trained and, and designed and evolved by Abatha. So it literally is like, yeah, toss me, dad, and does immediately start biting its uh, opponents. So you know what? It's not too bad. Some of us do wish our kids were that vicious when they were born, you know? Some of them, oh, you got to stand up for yourself, Jimmy. Tell you which, which, which kid never had a problem with that, the locust. The Locust, everyone's like, uh, who's that? They're like, that's Locust. It's his first day at school. Be nice to him. They're like, oh, sure, sure, yeah, I'll be nice to him. I'll be nice to him, Mrs. Jenkins. As soon as the teacher looks away, they're like, you're fucking weirdo, Locust. You look like a, you're, you're fat and you're, your mum's poor. <laughs> uh, locust just fucking bites a kid's ear off and, uh, and they never talk shit again because Locust is a savage mother trucker who gives no crap and... Uh, honestly, just absolutely ridiculous damage output. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's just obscene. It even sets that factory on fire. It's going to start burning a desperate counterattack from Booty Daddy. Probably the best shot here is going around those swarmers, but they're coming home. And that means you're going to get trapped. You've got to make sure you really gut the economy here of Florencio to make this work. And remember, there's no mobile air units. There's just seven corruptors and three hydras. So if battle cruisers came in... That would be beautiful because you could you mardo down the corruptors with just one or two battle cruisers uh, or lure them into the thaws or the cyclones. The moment the corruptors are gone, you can hunt down these swarmos with those air units. But without using air units, swarmos are a huge problem. Oh, Florencio! Oh my God, he's been the one operating the barbecue for so many years. But oh my God, he's clicking the queen. He's not. He's not targeting. Oh. Oh, the queen taking one for the team. But the focus fire is there. Big booty daddy, though. So many drones in the open, clumped up. Oh, and they're all going to die. They're all... Yep, they're... They're ow. They're ow. Wait, 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 wait. Where'd the army... Where'd the... Where'd the... Uh, rewind. Rewind. Sorry, guys. Rewind. Let's watch that one more time. Uh, I may have missed whatever happened to the army. So while those hellions drive on into the base, these units are coming on in. And okay, so the aliens are about to chase into that base. Oh my god, the hell muffins came in from behind. Oh, they came from behind. Ugh, oh, that army does nothing. Nothing. That's nothing. As Maynard would say, oh my god. Oh my god. Ah, oh, that's savage. So the aliens then burn in the main. Sorry for the instant rewind for those of you who are like, I thought this was live. Uh, what can I say, guys? I'm a bad observer, and I like to rewind my games, don't I? Um, Thor and Tank here are going to have a bit of a party. That Tank getting some shots over there. Thor's going to pull out those big 250 millimeter Punisher cannons. Mm. Um, let's just say, if you're a Thor pilot, 
you use a, a lot of a lot of dirty talk slash weird pickup lines to do with your Punisher cannons. Uh, let's just say there's a lot of people out there in the bars of Mars, Saro, and everywhere else in the Caprilu sector. Sector, uh, basically anyone that a Thor pilot has got their, their their contact number for, they have received a lot of unsolicited Punisher cannon pictures. If you know what I mean, I'm just saying they don't have many moves. The guys that operate at Thor are basically good at blowing things up and not much else. And they think, well, this is my one redeeming quality. I should put my best foot forward. That's what my mama used to always say. And their best foot apparently involves a 250 milliliter, milliliter, millimeter pilot Punisher cannon. Uh, anyways, this, this planetary does get mass repaired. Pretty good hold there by Booty Daddy. He's trying to build starports right now. I think finally realizing, hey, wait a second. Air units might actually be the way to do this. Uh, Vikings, Banshees, Battlecruisers, anything like that. Florencio does not have a lot of money. He's building slow Zerglings right now, guys. It's the 17 minute. He's been doing it for a little while now. He keeps making slow Zerglings. And they're not bad versus Thors, but they're hopeless versus the Hellbats. I mean, this is absolutely bizarre. Only Florencio at this point of the game would be like, the slow Zergling, the natural predator of the Thor. It's not even upgraded. The Swarm host running in. And look at this. Hellbat's actually killing some of the Swarm host. He gets one, he gets two. Might even get a third one there. But Locust is going to jump on this base one more time. Thor on the left side. Looks like it might go down. The Hellbat trying to guard it, but that Thor taking a lot of damage. The planetary on the right will not fall. Thor on the left side survives on four hit points. No, the planetary does go down. I think Booty Daddy stopped repairing maybe for a moment. But Booty Daddy loses all of that base and that means this infrastructure will go down before battle cruisers can be built booty daddy you gotta hide these buildings bro this is not hidden that's right next to those ones but florencio might not find it remember guys florencio doesn't have an income florencio has six drones right now he has a, a bit of money but he doesn't have any buildings if all these buildings are eliminated he loses this game so as long as the terran i mean he's still making thors which is absolutely the wrong unit there is no mobile fighting power for florencio right all you need is the ability to run away from the locust and you cannot lose this game as the terran now remember we've said that before in the florencio files you cannot lose this game if you just do x let's remember that florencio right now is wielding the power of very very angry toddlers and he's tossing them into battle and they're they're you know oh i'm sitting here watching on youtube and I think Florencio, he should have just done this and Booty Daddy should have just built the thing. Well, guess what? Maybe we shouldn't be judging so hard because we don't have toddlers biting our ankles. Imagine you're there in a, in a battlefield. It's not all calm, calm as a cucumber, sitting there looking at a textbook, writing down what the optimal play is, is it? No, it's not. You literally, bam, what's that that hit me? You realize it's a toddler, it's bounced off you. Now it's getting back up and it's running at you and it's biting you right on the gonads. And you're like, ah, you're screaming. You're trying to kick it, you're trying to, you're trying to kill it, you're trying to get away from it. But let's be real, it's stressful. You're in that environment, you're not gonna play optimally, are ya? Look at that, those four aliens trying to drive out, completely surrounded by a mass of locusts. I thought still over there on the other side of the map, the locusts are gonna come on in. We've got a few aliens, Thor being built on the high ground as well. That, ooh, that command center could get burnt down. This is actually a pretty big pickoff, but little does Florencio know that this battle cruiser is building. And I think this might just be the winning play for Booty Daddy because you've only got six corruptors, one Hydra. And guess what? Florencio's hatchery, his last hatchery he could actually mine from goes down. And as much as he can kill the, the rest of the buildings, I mean, two battle cruisers can basically just Yamato and then teleport what? Behind a missile turret or hide? If these battle cruisers just keep Yamatoing units, he wins the game. Now, he's only got enough gas for th a third battle cruiser. So that is the one problem for Booty Daddy. His Thor's going to go in. He could get some damage on the Corruptors. That would be big. This Thor ain't going to do much, though. And uh, a Cyclone uh, and a few Hellions. Like, a Cyclone is actually an unkillable unit because a Cyclone never should get hit by Locusts if you micro it correctly. And a Roach can't catch it. Definitely not without Roach speed. A Hydra can't catch it. Slow Zergens can't catch it. So we're still looking at this saying, hey, a few Cyclones would be game winners if you have micro and control and you understand how to play the game, but Booty Daddy understands how to slap booties and hasn't really studied that much else. But with a third battle cruiser coming out, I mean, what can you possibly do as Florencio? Maybe you've got this hatchery, maybe you mine enough minerals to get more corruptors. Commandson is building for Booty Daddy. Okay, Booty Daddy trying to get up enough gas there to build another battle cruiser, but having spent the 400 minerals in the command center, that's not gonna be possible. And if these teleport in, that's gonna be a, a kind of crazy move. You've absolutely got to fly these across the map so they can teleport home. Because the whole point is you Yamato three corruptors and then you teleport as they focus you into the red hit points. But right now, Booty Daddy is making a very strange decision to just drive Hellions in. And guess what? That's not going to do anything. The Hellions are driving in. He's going for the Spire. Oh, he's, he wants the Spire! 
But he's clicking the wrong building. He's got to click the spire. There we go. He clicks it. I don't think he's got it in time, though. That spire, 550 hit points. The Locust's about to launch. Locusts do crazy damage. Zerglings are on top as well. 250 hit points on that spire. 200 hit points on that spire. 150 hit points. 140 hit points. The spire survives. And the gambit from Big Booty Daddy does not pay off. Does not get it. And guess what? Florencio's got 10 workers mining again. Now, the thing is, there is 15 SCVs. I don't know. I guess they're all here. How many SCVs is that? That's only eight. Nine. And there's, oh, there's still six in the main base. Okay. You got to pull some of those workers away, buddy. There we go. Pulls a bunch of them away. So honestly, this base is mining. I mean, the Terran has more mining. The Terran has a way better unit in the battle cruiser. Oh, but he's already built two more corruptors as Florencio. He's up to seven and an eighth one popping in a moment. Now that spy is going to die. One Yamato will clean that up. Ooh, and now you need to spend 200 minerals, 200 gas, and about a minute and a half rebuilding that. If, if Booty Daddy can get Hellions in this mineral line or Battle Cruisers in this mineral line, you kill these drones, you win this game. Because you've got a base up, you're mining, you're rebuilding your economy. You've got Battle Cruisers that can repair as well. You can teleport home and repair. These Battle Cruisers could win this game right here, right now. Florencio way up in supply. But I think he's got to avoid the fight and go base trade. I think he needs to go kill things with Locusts and Corruptors. I don't think he can win this fight. Look at that. Two Yamatos coming in. Booty Daddy teleports home. Okay, a little bit cowardly from Booty Daddy. Yamato's two Corruptors there. And then teleports away. But I actually think he misclicked. I think he only got one Corruptor because there's still seven Corruptors. Unless Florencio started one more that I didn't notice just before the Spire finished uh, dying. Which may have been the case. The Thor walks in and it will die. Killing four, five... Six Zerglings, seven Zerglings before it goes down. Seven times 25 minerals, of course. That's 175 minerals. Not bad. Oh, wait, a Thor costs 500 resources. It's a very bad trade. The Thor does not achieve what it wanted to. Now, SCVs are going to try and repair this up. This is not a planetary or anything like that. Um, there is an engineering bay in the back, so you could make a planetary here. But if you do that, you can't lift it against Locust. Two more battle cruisers starting. Oh, he might be able to stop this battle cruiser. The battle cruiser is slow to react. Oh my god, if he stops this battle cruiser, that's huge. 10 seconds till it pops, but the starport's on 600, 500, 400, 3 seconds, 2 seconds. Oh, the starport will finish that battle cruiser. That's 4. And you know what, guys? Florencio is pretty screwed right now. I don't think he can beat these battle cruisers. He's in big trouble. It's been a real close back and forth game, but I think Big Booty Daddy may have indeed been Florencio's match in this game. And we've got, you know, Florencio meeting the same sort of strategies that he struggles with so much, or, or that he makes Zerg struggle against so much when he's playing Terran. The same strategies that he inflicts on Zerg players being inflicted upon him. And guess what, guys? We've got a fifth battle cruiser almost out. Teleport's ready. He can go and Yamato tax these corruptors down. That being said, there is a base of mining, and he's building nothing but corruptors. If he can kill those battle cruisers, it changes everything, and still nothing guarding this base. The Ling backstab from Florencio, very sneaky, but perfectly timed battle cruiser popping booty daddy if he turns that battle cruiser around he can still go attack with the other ones and be just fine but booty oh booty daddy's multitasking questionable at the best of times remember booty daddy is only ever focused on one thing and that is big thick booty is not able to handle the multitasking as much but actually spots the swarm host he's going to try and hunt those swarm hosts down could chase them down but i think the economy is probably the bigger target right now those swarm hosts running distraction Ooh. okay this more battle cruisers are building. Remember that Yamato is such a great ability in the end game. Not really worth Yamatoing the swarm hosts, as you need to save that for the corruptors. But look at this: the locusts going to force you to lift all your infrastructure. And if those depots go down, that means that's going to really curtail your production. Because look, those are double drop depots. Oh, look at the supply dip: 78, 62. Uh oh, almost supply blocked already just from that one locust wave. Swarm host hot on in pursuit. And here come the Corruptors, 12 Corruptors. Those battle, battle Cruisers are coming over. There are six on the map, five or four over here. Oh, Big Daddy. Oh, Big Daddy, he, he tried to Yamato. Oh no, he only kills one or two of those Corruptors and loses a Battle Cruiser for it. Uh-oh, and another one caught in the middle of the map. Now that's a great chance for him to get a Yamato off and leave, but both players very slow to react. Big Booty Daddy, Big Booty Daddy, Big Booty Daddy. No, he's gonna lose it. He gets the Yamato off, but he... Oh, six hit points. You're kidding me. Six hit points. Okay, he needs to very quickly repair that up. Now, the Corruptors might dive on top. And remember, Corruptors do beat the shit out of Battle Cruisers. There's still 11 Corruptors left. And I think with only one, I think one or two Yamatos left, he's got two Yamatos right now. So he can two, sh he can bang, bang two of the Corruptors. But from there, it's going to be hard. He does have SCVs to repair, though. 
And here we go. Watch out. The Corruptors, one of them will go down to Yamato. Another one goes down. There's no more Yamatos left. It's just BCs up against Corruptors at this point. It's all about the Focus Fire. Florencio Focus Fire's Booty Daddy does not. Booty Daddy trying to repair. The Locusts are going to put a quick stop to that mass repair. And oh my god, Booty Daddy is not focus firing at all. Only three battle cruisers left. There are still seven Corruptors and Booty Daddy going to throw in the towel there. Realizing they've lost that game. They did not have the urgency with the battle cruisers and Florencio getting beaten up on all game. Honestly, it felt like he was getting tooled. But he hangs on in the end. The units lost tab, fantastic. Those swarm hosts just flipping that game upside down. Bloody well played, Florencio. And I gotta say, a bloody well played to those of you who allow the channel to continue. Thank you very much, everyone, for supporting the Florencio files and all the rest of the content we do. Big thanks to Max and... Oh, we flipped it. Max and Colonel SC, Apollo God, and Modern Totem. Thank you very much for the love. Have a good night, guys. We'll see you in the next episode.